All right, so we are here with the Ultimate End Gamers League podcast, the best video game podcast in the world. Um, we have the best guests. I think at this point they've won three seasons in a row, three Pete. Okay, so we got a special guest over here to my right, Pit Boy Deluxe. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. Um, we also have Paige. Uh, they call her Coach P. Shout out to my Xbox children. <laughs> whoop, whoop. And then we also have AJ over here. What up, what up? Um, we're going to get into, you know, how they have created such a well-rounded team, um, how they keep on taking the dub every time, and, you know, doing it with style. Um, very professional team. I love watching you guys play. Um, I love watching how you guys conduct yourselves. And I do believe this season was probably your most challenging season. Would anybody here agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 100%. We, okay. we would all agree with that. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. I'm excited to hear that. Because that actually makes it more exciting for everybody else, too. So, <laughs> especially me. I loved watching. And, like, I'm, I'm going to say it because I want to. I loved watching Vernon Pace. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Because that's me normally. Normally, I'm sweating and pacing and my heart is racing with no caffeine. So yeah, it kind of had me scared for a second. I'm not going to lie. We zoomed in on you. We know. Actually, I went back and watched it. It was kind of funny. Yeah. Because, yeah. That was when you were playing Madden, right? Yeah. Okay. After so the pick six, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So at the time, um, AJ was playing Madden. That was in your second. Was that the second game? Uh, against the Ravens? Yeah, that was yeah. against the Ravens, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys were playing against the Ravens, mm -hmm. and your owner, Vernon, was sitting next to you, yep. breathing down your neck. No, nah, we were having an actual ca casual conversation. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we were literally just talking about football and stuff. Oh, that's dope. We couldn't yeah. hear it. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so it looked like he was yeah. breathing down your no, neck, no, no, and no. you were like... <laughs> <laughs> just nah, freaking out. No, nah, I wasn't freaking out or anything. It was just I had a pick six, courtesy of Madden. It, yeah. was, it shouldn't have happened, but whatever happens. And I had to sit up. Okay. That's I had to get serious. I was like, all right, I'm this is stupid. Yeah. This should not happen, so I got up. I okay. got serious. I got you. Yeah, well we saw it. We saw it. I mean you mm -hmm. ended up, you know, doing what you needed to do. Um so I kinda wanna go over what we're talking about right now. Um so last weekend we had the final weekend of the fourth finals of the Ultimate Endgamers League. Um, best league in the world, most intense, I think, most intense tournament yet, yep. all together. Yep. Uh, that, mm -hmm. what, the third day was insane. Like, yeah, so many overtimes. So overtime, many. overtime, <laughs> overtime. Like, I think, um, was it every game that day? Just about, I think. Yeah, I can't I mean, remember exactly, but it basically I, yeah. was. Yeah, except for the last one, it didn't go overtime technically, but... Technical, but it was it was still basically yeah. over time. I mean, every <laughs> game went to the wire. Yeah. It was yes. The wire. yes, nothing was guaranteed. I think you know. Okay, so I want to I want to go over. I guess just so everybody knows, and so the people know kind of what happened. So obviously, the finals happened last weekend. Um, we're gonna go over like first through fifth place, so that they kind of know where you guys felt. Obviously, first place. Uh, so Team Karma, first place. Uh, second place was the Boos. Mm -hmm. Third place was the Ravens, and that was a fight for that second place spot between the Ravens and the Boos. That was a crazy, oh, yeah. like, I would consider it an upset. Yeah. Most people did not see that happening. I love watching that match. That match was, that, <laughs> so that, that, was that, that last that, yeah. match? Yeah, oh. that was insane. <laughs> Shout out like, to Dance. Yeah, and so actually, <laughs> yeah, explain, to the people, explain to the people what happened in that last match. So it was Street Fighter, Boos Ravens, this was for the win, or for the tie. It was for the tie to end it, right? Yeah, I am. I guess Herb thought he won, or I don't know how exactly it went down, but it came down to Scants mashing a super on Herb <laughs> and winning the entire thing. Well, not even looking at the screen. Mm -hmm. And... So there was an that, accidental pause. Yes. So yes. there was an accidental pause in the game, and Herb was technically winning if you were talking about like the health that was yes. left, yep. and he was in the middle of um, in the middle of I think a combo, mm -hmm. but then a pause happened by accident. But at that point, Scans looked away and acted like he wasn't doing nothing. Now I'm not 100 percent about this in the game, but there's something you do to to get that special <laughs> setup. You just spam down for it down for it so he was punch. doing that yes. he was doing that while looking away acting like he was talking to his teammates yes okay herb i don't think knew that now i don't know it'll be cool to see when herb gets on here like what his mom was going through but he was scans was intentionally looking away <laughs> and doing that waiting and then when the m pause happened i guess if you approach them too quickly yeah and you don't back off that gives them the ability to do that mm -hmm. and that's what happened yep. and that is how they won 
against the freaking Ravens. And it was <laughs> probably the best celebration we've seen on in this league yes. so far. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was so upset, awesome. Honestly. I had to show my parents. I'm not going to lie. Oh, for real? <laughs> I had to show my parents. Yeah. It's on video, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's oh, on yeah. yeah. I had to show my parents. Scan's freaking out. He went over to Silver. His brother, I think. Yeah, it was his brother. His brother. Yeah. They hugged him first. It was awesome. It was uh, so yeah. awesome. So cool. We have a really good celebration they posted recently on our social media when a game was being picked. I think it was the Ravens booze game again, where they were all lined up. Yeah. Oh, uh, when the back here, mm-hmm. and like it was a the wheel was spinning. It was like time freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Everybody was like, "We hope it's this game. We hope it's this game." And then when the game hit, you watch them just jump up in the air. Yeah. Everybody starts hugging and chest bumping and shit. <laughs> um, so okay, so that's kind of where everything fell at this point. Uh, fourth place was Ghost. Fifth place Bandits, and I believe sixth place was Baba Yaga. Um, so, <clears throat> at this point, that's kind of how everything fell. I'm the Ghost Squad owner, if you don't know, a.k.a. G-licious, uh, and I kind of <laughs> am tired of getting fourth place. I want to tell you guys, fourth place is old at this point. <laughs> um, so, that's basically kind of a good little overview of the finals. So, now I want to get into your team, um, and I really specifically want to get into Miss Page over here, because we talked about you, AJ and Jury. We both talked about you uh, last time about how good your coaching style is, um, the way that you get your team motivated and like kind of how you structure things. So if what you're willing to share, I'd like you to kind of share like what your approach is and like kind of how you've developed this three time winning team. So um, really more than anything, I give them free reign, except for the fact um, and I and and I really am going to get a, a hat that says cat herder because <laughs> that's really <laughs> what and they'll tell you it is really a lot like herding cats. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it they know what they're doing except they and and don't I don't mean this badly but focus mm-hmm. they, they they are scatterbrained and they're all <laughs> over the place like squirrels yeah so a lot of times yeah exactly <laughs> so a lot of times it's simple it's simple what are you doing and it's questions what are y'all doing well and it, okay well why and then and and it's sometimes it's just asking questions in order to to make them go well, why are we doing that? Or give them a f- spreadsheet. Like I gave them a spreadsheet and I said, put your hours down. Mm-hmm. And it's just, how many hours have you played the game? <laughs> so James, I, how many? <laughs> James, oh, no. James, but Don't I, worry about it. Don't worry about it. And, and James, <laughs> James is like, you know, Phil, and I, and it, it, but, it, but it gives, but then everybody could see the spreadsheet. Everybody could see what everybody was practicing. It gives everybody a chance to say, hey, well, we have a big gap right here. Mm-hmm. So, Everybody knows what everybody else is doing, and I think that's part of it. And, it. and all of that revolves around communication. And our Discord channel is always busy. They're always talking to each other in the Discord channel. Yeah. They practice. They practice together. They talk to each other. It, it, it's. But again, I, I'm not all over them. Mm-hmm. I just ask questions, and they know. They they know to answer. Yeah. <laughs> so, but again, it's it's more just trying to keep them kind of on a path okay because otherwise it's like you know here there and everywhere so, so well who's okay so this will go to he said like we're all young i guess and, and if you don't know the exact ages that's fine but i mean like who's your oldest player because i figure they're all college like so age, right? I, cedric and so andy, 21 cedric and andy are the oldest too okay so 21 22 like that's mm-hmm. probably okay that yeah. makes a lot of sense yep. like yep. high energy yep but at the same time they have so the guidance so you provide a lot of guidance yep um, and then I guess regulation from what I've seen. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And yes. you would agree? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. I guess during those moments when you guys, um, I'm going to pick on the Ravens game, because I believe that was probably the most intense, most strenuous, closest game you guys have ever had at this point in the league. What do you do in your position to help them through that? Because at this point, y'all haven't had to deal with that too much. No. So how did you, uh, I guess, address that in this season? Ooh. So that match was a challenge for all of us. Um, and because we haven't been in that position before, um, <clears throat> talking, okay. talking it out, um, taking all things into consideration and listening to what they had to offer, as well as listening, you know, talking to Vernon, 
and making sure he understood what we were doing and why we were doing it mm -hmm. so that he didn't come back and say, well, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so uh, because we did do that one time and he's like, wait, what are you doing? And so I was like, it's, it's fine. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. Yeah, it's a strategy. It's a strategy. Yeah. So um, the go to response. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it just keeping everybody informed. It, it really is about that and, and letting everybody understand and also having letting everybody give their opinion or their idea and so they feel like they have a voice okay i um, actually do that with my team as well i'm very big on like because you all the different perspectives are super important mm -hmm. and you don't know what you could be missing correct so like two minds are better than one and then i think five minds now obviously there can't be too many leaders and not enough people willing to follow but at the end of the day like you sh it makes people commit more when they feel heard Correct. So yeah. well, I, I'd expect you to have that down. Well, it, and the other piece of the puzzle is they have the young side of things, but I have the old side of things. And, and thinking through things and looking at, I have foresight because I'm old. Wisdom. So. Wisdom. You're wise. <laughs> Wisdom. So, so there, you know, so that gives it, the, that's, the, that's the balance. Okay. That, that, that allows the balance because I can we had a conversation the other uh, the other day where there was a great idea but my you know i was like however this this and this could happen they were like oh well we didn't think about that it's okay it's mm -hmm. all right it was a good idea but again that was the whole idea of that's why you know i do remember this idea <laughs> yes you do i'm sure um, <laughs> um, it wasn't it wasn't a bad idea either but oh. but again it's kind of one of those things like, oh, well, that could not, that could turn out not could so well hard. for us. We're, so we're ready to run and gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it's 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 learning for everything. And I will say the one thing about the the match against the Ravens, and and they've heard me say this over and over again. We learned a lot. Good. We learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot just in general and not necessarily about playing the games mm -hmm. it's how we react and how mm -hmm. we um strategize and and we and i made some mistakes i and i will own those mistakes mm -hmm. um and and they will never happen again mm -hmm. um but that's that's part of learning and you know forever a teacher mm -hmm. always gonna learn yeah. Um, so, and that's the thing is in it's constant, you know, and we're all learning. The whole league is learning yep. and in it's little, it's baby steps, baby steps. Yeah, I definitely agree. So with that being said, I want to ask, and it could be anybody, um, why do you feel like the Ravens were your biggest challenge? Well, well, say it with your chest. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, they they were in our heads. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Um, another thing was we were caught off rotation a couple times. Yeah. A mm. few times. From actually. the beginning. Yeah. From, so, from, so from the beginning. From the start. Um, I know I lost a FIFA match, and I held that on my like back for the whole round. Like Ugh. I should not have lost that, but I did. Yeah. And it was – it held me down a lot. And mm -hmm. that's kind of what held me down the whole match. And then the rest of the team was just rotation, the wheel. Yeah, you guys finally had that big challenge, I think, yeah. where the wheel was, like, hitting at the wrong time. It was every like, time. Yeah. Every, like, every, James, every, every. James, we need a fighter. Wait, he's not available. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like you guys had to deal with that. It was a little rough. Yeah. It was It was a little rough. Yeah, it's good. Like you, like, but like you guys said, though, I think that's a big part of the learning experience. And I think that that's also, like, what makes the league so great. And that is, you know, and this is not a biased opinion. This is what I think every team has to experience is that's a good thing because when you get comfortable, then the challenge isn't the same. Yep. But then when you get a little smack of like what that challenge is really like, that wheel starts hitting off and it's like, okay, if as long as it's not this genre right now, we're good. And then it's like, boop, what the heck? Like, yep. There were 17 other games that would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I think those types of scenarios, though, help build you up. Like, I'm sure y'all are going to come back as an even better team next year because of that. Yeah. Like, or not next year, but next season. Next, yeah, yeah season, seasons are season. usually longer. But, yeah, so next season I feel like you guys will. Do you agree with the same kind of things he was talking about as why they were your biggest challenge? Yeah, I think it's like 
the games that they covered did give us a lot of competition compared to most of the teams in the league. Yeah. And that whole the mental thing. Mm-hmm. Like the way they were playing, how they kind of got in our head yeah. a little bit. But yeah. I think that was really beneficial to us in the long term, though, because we got like a good picture of how to act in those situations. Yeah. And I think we just came out stronger at the end. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely agree. I mean, I think that you guys, you guys, I think, adjusted. You could tell it would, like, weighed heavy on you. Mm-hmm. But then you adjusted and you were ready for if you had to play them again yeah. because you kind of saw – like what that competition was going to look like. And as the league grows, like we're all going to face different types of teams. Like every team is not going to be the same, you know, like as far as how they function, how they respond to things, you know, how they decide to get in your head. All the teams do their own little things. Some teams are too calm or Mm -hmm. calm, but too calm. Some teams are like crazy emotional. (laughs) Some teams are in between. Like they have one or two guys that are screaming the whole time. But then, you know, but sometimes like that's but at the same time I want to say it's all negative is having passion can be a really good thing. Like when you practice like y'all do, you're probably gonna be a little passionate. (laughs) You're gonna be a little upset when you lose FIFA. Oh yeah. (laughs) Like so um so is there anything else you guys feel as far as like do you want to talk about anything else about that game with the Ravens? And that, that score ended with uh, very close. It was eight, you eight, guys, seven, seven eight, Ravens, seven. and that that timed out. Yep. So yeah. that was intense. Yeah, very. We, we had to go to overtime for that one. We had to go to overtime. Yeah. 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 What was the overtime game? Lemnus Gate. Lemnus Gate. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get into that. What, if you guys remember, did, how did you guys feel about that strategy? Do you remember the game? Oh, yeah. Okay, so in that game... What was happening? And what did you guys think oh, in the first round? Oh, I mean, once it rolled, I thought we won already. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you guys had Zuri. We have, we yeah. have Cedric, who is probably, yeah, he, he is the best at the game in this yes. league. And probably Currently, yeah. probably in the world. No one, I'm, <laughs> there are little people play that game. Um, but, but to be fair, yes, I feel like he is probably one of the best players to play the game, to be honest. Okay. Um, and once it rolled, we are like, nice. It was, yeah. it was like, I was, mean, yeah. We were, we were really hyped, <laughs> and yeah, we all so looked, we looked straight to Cedric. We were like, "You got it. It's yeah. easy." And yeah, that game is sketchy, man. Because like, if if like you make one mistake or mm-hmm. if they do something funny, even if it's not purposefully, mm-hmm. yeah. like it can just completely offset everything yep. that you do. Yeah. Um, and so, what were you saying? I was saying there were so many games that would have just like really messed us up. <laughs> that were left on the wheel. Well, yes, I, I definitely yes. agree. Was, there was a lot more games that we were not favoring yes. that were on that roll. And yep. it was when that when it spun, it definitely froze time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That oh was probably goodness. everyone was probably yeah definitely holding their breath watching yeah. that wheel spin. Yeah. So when you saw Herb basically killing himself in the beginning of the round, and then he was like invisible, running through the whole thing. Mm-hmm. What was because we were all watching, so I I don't really know what the perspective was from you guys who were separate from that. What was the perspective of him doing that, and how long did it take to figure out what the hell was going on? I, it's a strat that you have to like perfect it to be really good at it. You okay, know? it's like it's a hard strat to do, mm-hmm. and I've seen it before. Cedric's definitely seen it before, but once he realized what they were doing, he was like. This is free. Yeah, <laughs> so free. yeah it's not. And I was like, and I was watching him do it. I was like, yeah, this is this is your attempt. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, but I mean, it's a it's a pretty good strat if you're actually like if you have to like perfect it. To yeah, like and I said, I, but it's it's hard. And <laughs> I feel like even then, like if the other person picks it up, then all they have to do is shoot at your dead player, so that mm-hmm. when you bring them back, they're dead that, anyway. That's exactly yeah. what right. Did. So it kind of yeah okay that is yeah. what he did yeah. exactly. So you just shoot at the dead players. It's they're harder to see, mm-hmm. so they're harder to aim at. Yeah. That but if if you do see them or if you watch where they went, which you can do because we get to spectate like basically two full rounds. Mm-hmm. Um, Throw explosive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can do things in a certain way that there's no way that when they bring them back to life that they survive anyway. Yeah. So it's over. What would, what did you want to say? Oh, I, I it just. You know, as soon as the game started, Cedric already knew. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he already knew. Yeah, he told us. So, <laughs> and, and that it, it's a strategy, but the better strategy, in my opinion, would have been to play. Yeah. Just, just straight up, yeah. just mm-hmm. to, to try to, 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 to do better yeah. than the other player. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was kind of, you know, that was, I mean, it, 
it's a strategy yeah. again you know it's fun to see yeah i was excited <laughs> seeing it because i was like what are they doing are you purposely losing like, <laughs> i was like what is happening right yeah, now yeah, yeah. but then i quickly was like wait a minute although you can counter it mm -hmm. i was like that's a genius move in a way but then against jury i was no. like not so genius <laughs> <laughs> Like, because, I mean, this man can adjust on the fly, and he's so good at that game. Like, he could probably skip two turns yep. and still. Yeah. Oh, and then I don't know if that was the There was another time you guys played Lemnus. Correct. But, it but was, a, that was the booze. The booze. Was that the second time you played him for the Correct. finals? Yes. Okay, this was a big This was a big moment, I feel like, in that game. Although you guys dominated without a, without a doubt, in the booze game, which was the finals, mm -hmm. the final finals for the 10K, mm -hmm. the booze... Prior to that game, they forfeited something. And I'm trying to remember what the forfeit was. But you I two, I NHL. think it was you two. It was NHL. NHL. So NHL. Yeah, and it was, it was like, yeah. and you were available, and you were available. And they forfeited before you guys picked yeah, your player. We threw him Correct. in, and they left me out. You would have put you in for NHL if, you, yep. if they were playing it. Mm -hmm. And then Lemnisgate would have popped up, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't play Lemnisgate. Of course. Ooh. We play everything. Okay. I play absolutely everything. You play everything. That's awesome. Everything. Are you yeah. as good? Are you as good with Jury as he is? And if you don't want to share it, that's fine. You can look at your coach and see if you're allowed to say it. But he's wonderful. I'm he's amazing. <laughs> okay. I think he's shit. So at the end of the day, if he was so great. You know, I think that they picked AJ, obviously, so they probably, to me, I'm just going to make some judgment calls here. <laughs> they would have put him in if he was better than AJ, right? Because this was at this, like, but at the same time, they didn't really have to because of how dominant it was. I'd be interested to see you play now. <laughs> but what happened is, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> I don't think he plays it like that. A, but at the end of the day, I know AJ and Jerry play together a lot. So yeah. we knew we've seen them play in the league, and we know that they're a good team together. Mm -hmm. So regardless of how good or not good James is, <laughs> that was a bad choice by doing the forfeit early and not having you guys select your player, especially when it's a sports mm -hmm. game, and you definitely would have thrown AJ in, or most likely would have thrown AJ in. Yeah, so get that I decision. did, and you can tell me if you want, but did you? change your pick yes. based on that oh, decision. Yeah. Yes, and and we did the same strategy except our strategy worked against the Ravens. Oh. Oh, was that when Ninja Storm rolled? Yes, we Go did. ahead, can you explain? Oh, by all means. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yes. So, um I came up with this idea by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I just got taken. So, all AJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, we had Okay, there was 12 minutes left. Okay. Just, just clarify. Mm -hmm. You didn't remember that part. Set that's okay. Stage. That's oh, that's that's my job. Um, so it was two K, and Hakeem was playing. Okay. And he was losing, and we I for, I forfeited. Mm -hmm. And then Ninja Storm rolled. Yep. And I we knew it was going to be Andy mm -hmm. that was going to play, but I didn't tell anybody that, and I had Cedric. Go set the game up. Mm -hmm. So Cedric sat down, and he was setting the game up. And Herb thought it was going to be Cedric playing. Uh, and so Cedric, uh, so Herb sat down nice. and so started getting himself set up. And then he announced, or whoever the coach for the Ravens at the time, Michael, said it was Herb. And as soon as he said Herb, I said it was Andy, and then I said forfeit. <laughs> Hell yeah! And then he turned around, and if looks could kill, I would. <laughs> yeah, hey, that listen, you gotta done. bask in those moments. Uh, we that is an old strat that we've used since like almost the beginning, where we used to because obviously things have changed a lot in the league, so it's not as easy to do it now. Like yeah. the whole sitting down in the spot doesn't work if the other team pays close enough attention yeah. to. I wait until they're grayed out. I don't think nothing until I see the people gray out. Then I'm like, okay, I make a choice. Like, not as far as whom I'm putting in. Yeah, but, but that like, old grayed out thing, and I don't get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> we saw something that might have happened. Yeah, a little uh, bit. But so with that being said, um, the sit-downs, the smart, got to keep the book. The, uh, the smart okay. thing, though, is when you set them off like that, you do throw them off. You can throw them off, or at least visually, there's like now they're thinking of multiple things. You're starting to get in the player's head. That works for any team. It's happened to me before. Uh, I think learning 
how to strategically make these decisions of forfeits and playing games out and selections and being a lot of people are loud mouthed and they're saying things so loud the other team can hear them or they're like literally walking over to the other team and telling them what they're doing um you know it's my game it's my game (laughs) yeah or it's we're forfeiting and it's like (laughs) you know like but i think that those things are slowly but surely like tightening up on all sides because teams are realizing the advantage like what happened what may or may not have happened in lemnis gate is you may have put your better player in because you didn't put him in the game that he would have definitely won prior to that because you learned something early, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why yeah. as owners or coaches or whoever is in charge of making those choices, like you got to hold that stuff tight to the chest. Yep. No matter how sporadic things are getting. And I know Coach P is really good about doing that. And is your co-coach, is it Jury? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you have a co-coach, and that's it, you two. Yep. Um, and Jerry, I know, is really smart about making decisions, and I know he knows how to take charge of your team. Yep. Who would you guys say is generally your in-game leader? You said in-game? In- in-game leader. So, in-game. like, your first... Pers- yeah, probably, probably Cedric. Yeah, probably, still probably Cedric. Cedric. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, coach, like, okay, I got you. You should see him scr- oh, you, did you, you weren't, you weren't here for that Gears match against the Booze. Oh, my you? God. He was, no, he the, was the second one? The, was, the, yeah, second, the, the second game? Or the first time? both times. Both times. Yeah, yeah I was here. I was here for the yeah. second one when there was a lot of screaming going yeah. on. Yeah, no, it was yeah. hilarious. But also, three hundred was screaming like crazy because <laughs> they, the boos were not supporting uh, uh, Super, Super Noob, yep. and and that's all. And like, this is no offense to y'all, but that's all Super Noob needed was mm-hmm. at least one person to support him, and it would have been probably different results. But nobody was supporting him. He would run off by himself, and we could all because we were spectating with like the map, and like we had everything on the big screen mm-hmm. and 300 was losing his mind <laughs> because he loves he loves gears yeah. and he's, he's super strategic like he's a very intelligent coach um of the bandits mm-hmm. um and he was just he was so yeah. we were all hyped we, dude we that game it. is so fun and you heard it we, oh yeah we heard it yeah, yeah. yeah. we heard him yeah. in the back and we we're like oh my gosh yeah just was, listen uh, to cedric don't listen to whatever's going on over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you guys were functioning well. Like, yeah. I mean, we could tell you guys were functioning like as a full unit and stuff. So there was, there was a little hiccup on one round, but yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you care yeah. to explain? I mean, um, I don't think it exposed so it was the first, anything. First round. It was well, the first round. Yeah, it was the first round. Yeah, we had a stalemate in the first round. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was um. That was yeah. great. I don't think we've ever had one of those before either. It was a three v one versus Super Noob, and yeah. we like two of our. I can't. Rem- I don't know who it was. I I couldn't yeah. tell you. But yeah. two of them pushed in. I was like, oh my god, why? And Cedric was the last alive. I think. It was, yes, so. yeah. it was. That's was, correct. Man. All they had to do was spread out. No, stay remember, back. It was the last finals. They did something very similar to that exact thing. And yeah, I'm s i am was so mad. Yeah. I was so <laughs> mad that I wanted They're to like, play. Get you. Yeah, me and James wanted to play so bad. I know, but <laughs> Yeah, because y'all are certain what we covered, we we covered too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean I I think that's most teams have the same scenario where, like, they leave out their stronger fighting player and their stronger sports player yep. in those scenarios, unless you're in a structured team where, like, your better shooter is also one of those. But that seems to be rare that that's the case. We do have some fighters, some fighter shooters, but not um, as many. Well, no. We have DZ, sports shooter. Sports shooter. I'm a sports shooter. Yeah, you're a um, sports shooter, yeah. Basically, the whole Bandits team is sports shooters. That's I mean, true. Because... 300 probably he drafted a team to beat me that's just how it is he, nah, that's, he, that's all i care about yeah he wanted to beat me i swear <laughs> he has four people on that team to beat me strictly <laughs> just one strictly. game each in the sports category is a two two 2k players a fifa player he plays <laughs> ufc and uh what did i say it's fifa 2k and madden madden Milk yeah. Zolo, he's so, he's so good Yo, beast, <laughs> yeah beast mode no we see yeah we yeah, see that against dc yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he'll be a tough competition if I play him. I think this next season the Bandits will be different, for they sure. They will be. But yeah, obviously yeah. with draft and all that kind yeah. of stuff, which will be announced uh, on the 31st, right? The draft. The dra- well, like we don't know what, how the draft is going to be. That's good. Yeah. That's up the in the air. Because huh? Was it the first or thirty first? I believe the thirty first is when okay, games okay, are being okay. announced. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Same. yeah oh, so yeah. all that's going to be on the yeah, same yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So, but draft the draft stuff, itself is not till the seventeenth of June. Yeah. yeah, that's the actual draft. But right. I think that like how the draft is going to work. Um, yeah. Some more details we'll about the draft, the games. That's all going to be announced on the thirty first. So make sure you tune into that. Um, okay, let's see. What else did I have for you guys? Oh, so who? I know who, but who was your MVP? 
Hip boy himself. Hip boy. <laughs> so what led to that choice, man? Or I know. How did you perform? First of all, how did he perform? Amazing. You guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a and like when a fighting game comes up and he's like there and it's just like nice. It's you so, guys all so get, nice. you it's all get like, warm and fuzzies. So. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> You're a very humble person. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, how did it feel getting MVP, man? <sighs> Felt pretty nice. I can't lie. Yeah. Did you expect all, it? Honestly, no. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it was gonna be Cedric because so when we were with Germain or Germain, like that was the team, right? Yeah. yeah. We didn't get to choose an MVP, right? No. In spirit, it was Cedric. Yeah, it was right? definitely, yeah. we wanted Cedric for that. Okay. So I thought we were going to make it up and be like, this is his MVP thing. Yeah. But Yeah, we all, decided we all voted James right away. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's cool. But Cedric also said, you know, he is perfectly okay with not being the MVP because he is the captain. Yeah. Yeah. So. What yeah. a guy. Yeah, what, what a fella. <laughs> Okay, so and then I guess what, no, no, and I don't know who was as big of a. Stop did you guys all just vote on it? Is that? <laughs> did you? <Bang. laughs> that was just, great. Just blurted it outside. Yeah. <laughs> walked out there like, Jane, I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. And that was pretty much it. That was so. Really. Was it just a general consensus? Yes. Like there wasn't. Yeah. A whole, oh wow, yeah. that's freaking awesome, dude. So your team likes you a little bit. Perhaps. Oh, I kind of thought you. Were, I thought you were the black sheep a little bit, man. I was. Man. No. I was about to rub shoulders with you and be like, "Hey, bro, listen, you'll be treated better over here." Uh, <laughs> but um, okay, cool. You tried that. You tried that already. I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> I don't give work. up. Hi, hey, work. listen, listen. It, he, I'll figure yeah, something. He, out. Know, he knows something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm working on my signing bonuses. Okay. <laughs> I'm going cash route. That's the best I can do at this point. <laughs> How much you're talking? Huh? That's what I'm saying. You see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not even for Listen, a million. No, at the end of the day, I can't compete with Vernon. So. I don't know. No. I don't know. <laughs> hey, is it all about money with your team? I'm yeah. just saying, if you put a million dollars in front of me. They man, want a house. Yeah, listen, we're not going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do want a house. A I house? Would take a house. They want a house. Yeah, listen, I'll put y'all. I got a place. Uh, <laughs> I got a place out in the hood uh, I can eight. put y'all. No problem. Eight. eight. Yeah, $1,500 yeah. a month. I got a house for you. That's what they call it. There's a a one and a half bath. (laughs) (laughs) Just a bathroom, though. Just a bathroom. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We'll call it a house. Uh, Let's see. Okay, was there anything that you guys were surprised by overall in the whole tournament? How how much we beat the booze by we thought really we yeah thought, we yeah. Me, and, me and cedric thought like a lot of like rotations and stuff with the booze and stuff because we were going to play them first or the bandits mm-hmm. so we pra- or, um we prepared for those two teams and we thought the booze were always our toughest competition but really yeah yeah we thought really we were expecting Dang. them to be like really strong this yeah. season Okay. I mean, they are. Yeah, they, they, they are. No, they're I'm definitely saying, strong. I'm not saying they are. No, no, yeah. but stronger yeah. than, than the competition that yeah. ended up happening twice. Yeah. Like, yeah. It wasn't right. like a fluke because the first time and the second time was yeah. the same score, which was, I believe, 10 to 4, correct? Yeah, correct. Yes. time, yeah. Yeah. And so you guys played them your first game because mm-hmm. you had a buy. You had a buy for the first round. Yeah. You played the booze for their second round, but yeah. your first round. Mm-hmm. And then Ravens, and then Booze again, and that's really all that you guys got. Yep. I was really hoping to get to play you guys, but um, <laughs> well, we were well, kind of hoping we to play want, you too. We yeah, wanted it. we wanted it. Just to saying, it, yeah, yeah. it would have well, been I, that would have been my favorite matchup. Yeah, the, us versus you guys. Yeah, it would have been a nice, clean, civil battle, <laughs> like an actual really good competition in the finals. I think that would have been our best matchup. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll. Come, I think really next year fun. it'll be better. It would have um, been fun. I definitely think that my team will be more prepared next year Mm because with it being, and I'll just put it out there, and maybe you can ask that question you were talking about earlier. Um, With my team being so new, like most of my players were new. I think three at least were completely new. Mm -hmm. Um, And just a new team in general coming together, like the team continuity, like I know you guys have that so strong in like shooters, which is Mm -hmm. the most important. My team has that in the fighters because I have veteran fighters who've been a part of the league since the beginning. But... My shooters were all new, and they're all super highly skilled individuals. Mm -hmm. The problem was, is just like with Super Noob, they have to be able to play as this team. And mesh well together. And mesh well and communicate well and have objective focus Mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, which is... But you're about to say something. Yeah. Yeah, And uh, and you know what? It it really has to do with not necessarily in-game things Mm -hmm. because we've done things outside of 
we've done dinners yeah and we've had you know meals and we've planned events and we've been you know so it's outside activities mm -hmm. um because you can't just build it, the camaraderie that is necessary for those shooters yeah. which is really what that's all about yeah I because you agree. have to trust your teammates mm -hmm. and it, it's it, it i mean it, real life skills really apply to the game yeah in, in, a, in a shooting game yeah and so you feel like you feel like that stuff has contributed well you guys were pretty close in the beginning but you feel like that's contributed even more yeah. so but but sure. you have to remember they didn't know you have to all that's of this true. has happened yeah. since, last, <laughs> since last since <laughs> last since last august yeah and in october was the first time they really met yeah. each other that's so true. A I mean, week before tournament. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so so you know, so yeah, I yeah, mean, it right. really does matter. Mm -hmm. that, and now you guys hang out and like, yep. like correct, you know, hang out in each other's rooms and well, shit. Well, and, and they go and they, you know, hot. What's that? Where y'all going? Hot chicken kitchen. Yeah, sponsors. hot. That's yeah. Sponsors. So sponsors. good. Oh uh, yeah. Hot. So good. yo, wait, wait. Where is the location of that? Um, they have two locations. One's by Potomac. I can't tell you the exact location. That's okay. <laughs> Cedric's usually driving me there. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then there's one. Off, there's a new one that just opened on six ten a couple weeks ago. Really? Yeah. In Stafford. We, we went there. Um, Man, you were working. <laughs> oh look, see, look, I'm messing it up already. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> look, about to start the fight. But, but, but those are the kinds yeah. of things. And, and oh, yeah. It's yeah. By the neighborhood Walmart on six ten. And yeah. you know we're looking at going to a Nats game. Cheap seats, though. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, every seat there is pretty close, so well, you'll know, be all right. Nosebleed $5. Yeah, seats, yeah. But whatever. Still. <laughs> uh, but still. Got a big team. You know, but still, those are the, you know, that's, but everybody. And that's the it. other thing is everybody's always included. Yeah. And even though, you know, we had, we only picked up Andy. Yeah. Snappy. Um, still, all eight, everybody, all eight people. We all have our jerseys and all, everything is everybody's always included. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that really mm -hmm. matters. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. In the um, so you just mentioned something that I want to talk about the draft and and we've I think on one of the last podcasts we did briefly go over this with somebody about how you guys gave up all of your picks last draft to pick up who you're calling Andy, which his gamer name is Snappy, Snappy. Um, mm -hmm. elite elite player. And so do you kind of want to go into like what your thought process was on that and how you made that happen? Can you well, do I'm, that? I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to let um, Aiden do that. Okay. okay. Go ahead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Was this your idea as well? So I knew. Y yes. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Like, he gets all excited every time. He's like, hold on. mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I basically did it all. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, on a Saturday while I was out and about. Yeah. <laughs> well, it kind of. Well, anyway, so there was a Thursday I was here, and it was we were talking. Me and Cedric were talking about how how are we going to use these draft picks because we really don't need anyone other than Snappy, really. Mm -hmm. And we're like, he's not going to fall to us. Every other team wants him, you know. Oh, dude, and I was looking. I know you were. Oh, I, know, I was prowling. I, I was like, Everyone they think they're going to get him. I'm snatching yeah. him. <laughs> We already really like Andy. Like, we're already, like, friends with him. He was Cedric's best friend for, like, a while, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was like, you know, I do have 300's number from last tournament because I was going <laughs> to link up and play 2K with him at some point, but we never did. But um, <laughs> so I texted him. I was like, hey, I have, like, are you willing to, like, trade back a few picks, you know, get a lot of draft capital in return. He was like, uh, let me think about it. And I was like, okay. So he thought about it. And I was at work when this all, like, really happened. He calls me up and he was like, so I just got to see, like, what everyone else is, like, looking to draft and stuff. And he was looking to draft player one, but every other team already had their fighting game players. So it was kind of just, it made sense for, like, both teams. We're trying to get snappy. He's trying to get player one. And we're like, it can happen because player one's not going to, probably not going to get drafted by these other teams so we're like i was like all right i mean like i'm not trying to like get you out of a deal or anything or like i'm not trying to like um screw you over or anything you know mm. so i was like i mean i want to like keep at least one pick but like if if not then that's cool you can take them all and that's exactly what happened and he yeah. called up coach p and vernon they made it through and i was like cool yeah, and we got snappy. Yeah, we had him. We had him to the Discord like right after. Yeah, very upsetting from the other perspective. Uh, 
You it, just never know what we're going to do, though. So, so just upset. you always need to be prepared. Yep. That, I was so upset. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. And I was so mad at the time at the bandits because I was like, why would you give that? <laughs> like, if, you, if they would have just picked, even if they would have got them, it's like you would have had an elite player mm-hmm. and you could build from that. That's my yep. perspective is like because you're going to pick up a bunch of potentially like we didn't know because obviously people are still coming into the draft and yep. stuff. But in my, from my perspective, it's like, yo, you could have had one guaranteed elite player. Now you have one. <laughs> and it's like, now you might pick up maybe one or two more this draft. Okay, you just started as a team. Like, I've been doing this for like two years, and I finally yeah. got enough elite players for seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I'm, yeah, I'm technically now probably at seven elite players. Mm-hmm. So it took that long. And it's like, you could have been up to maybe two already, and then probably four to five next time. And then that's, that's amazing. That's yeah. fast growth. Like, yeah. you can't expect to jump in and have all the best. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was a different strategy in 300 super intelligent. I respect he, his choices and stuff. He, he knew a lot of people. He 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 brought in guys that nobody knew, but yep. he knew. Yeah, and he knew that they were really good. Yeah, so he brought them in. Milk Solo, um, Tease, Tease, who yep. didn't show, who wasn't able to show up, but he got he's him. elite. Yeah. He's very good at FIFA. I think it, yeah, FIFA. You're they're right. all they're all good at shooters too. And then he got um, Mega Man, um, Big Chungus, who wasn't able to show up either, but he's also. <laughs> really good so like those guys like he knew them yeah but like and he that, the that, picks. Was his, that was his strategy and he yeah. had all the picks to do all those to get all those guys you know? yeah so, it was super smart yeah. move. it's just for me like i the other side yeah. of it for me yeah. was like yo you're giving karma <laughs> <laughs> the first another <laughs> unicorn and i was like they don't need the one unicorn is enough <laughs> It's very No, it's not. <laughs> we have eight unicorns. Come on. You we have eight <laughs> yeah, unicorns. Yeah, what listen, are you talking I'm, I'm, about? I'm being disrespectful. You got one <laughs> unicorn, <laughs> and now you have, well, two. Well, but at the same time, I actually personally, like, um, I didn't get to see Snappy's performance as much as mm-hmm. I got to see Jerry's up to this point. Yeah, like, he's he, disgusting. Yeah, he's just been able to play everything. Oh, my God. Have you, have you seen, seen the Valorant matches? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah. flicks. Oh, my yeah, God. He has, like, dude. one bullet left in his magazine. Turns just instant headshots. And no, I didn't around. see it. I didn't was, see it. That's hard. I like fell to the floor. I was like, "That's not human." <laughs> now you're referring, you're referring to Snappy, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. That's see. That's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. Again, why? why? <laughs> Could have been you, 300. <laughs> uh, but so anyway, like, and they have some strong shooters already too. Yeah. Like with 300 himself, like, yeah. um, I think then they have a couple other ones too. So and I, I like I said, I know that they're gonna be totally different next season. So, um, but so with that. Uh, you were asking me about a draft move I made. Your, your draft yeah. pick move, or your uh, trade that you did yeah. to trade Double C and Jazz away for a fourth round pick. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering what was the thought process. I got you. To so not at least get a little bit more. So I think I should have potentially fought for more. Yeah. Um, so what he's talking about is basically I. Those were two picks. This is what's so crazy about it is I got two picks because I picked up ITs, which Mm -hmm. is 300's cousin and also a really good player that 300 wanted and had in his strategy for his picks. Mm -hmm. I picked him up during the draft. Me and 300 had our conversation. Uh, Basically, hey, look, I'll give, he told me, I'll give you two, my two next picks, which are his last two picks, I believe at the time. um, And you give me ITs and then we'll move on. And I was like, all right, like that's cool. Cause like I was picking up ITs just to have another sports player as a practice sports player Uh to help train up my team, whether he was good enough or not, then maybe he can move into a starting spot. Mm -hmm. But if not, he could at least be a good practice guy to have kind of teach other people things and and grow and um, help with the growth of the sports side of my stuff. Mm -hmm. So, cause I was, that was my strategy at the end was I wanted two sports guys to help grow the sports side, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, hell yeah, like, okay. It wasn't really like super important to me at the time. And I knew like, obviously it's his cousin, he's not gonna show up for me. So it was a wasted player for me to have. So I was like, okay, yeah, two picks, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Those two picks, I picked up double C and Jazz. Yeah. So those were unexpected picks. I didn't really need to have them. It wasn't a part of my strategy. Um, And what happened is I ended up with like 13 players. Which I don't know if you've managed thirteen players before, but it's a lot of players to manage. Yeah, and with practices as much as we do it, and things like that, and like me knowing kind of how the future of the team looks, my skill level that I have on the team currently, it's great to have people who are going to practice with you, and like if they bring something to the squad, like um, Double C's a great fighting player. He could help teach my shooters how to play fighters. But will he be? And I can't answer this. Like this is something that now three hundred would have to answer. But will he ever be? 
a, a starter based off his current skill set, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think he would have been on my team. And so I wanted to give th- – I wanted it to kind of be a win-win situation. One, I'm not holding him back from potentially being successful on another team. And two, I'm able to kind of focus more on the players that I need to focus on. Mm-hmm. Um, the other – so with Double C, um, Double C – when I went to go draft him, um, he didn't seem super interested in being on my team. And as an owner, if you go up to somebody and provide them an opportunity, especially at the end of the draft, and this yeah. is just me being transparent, and this is no offense, like Double mm-hmm. C's a great person, he was expecting, I don't know what conversation somebody on y'all's team had, but he was expecting to be picked up by either y'all or the band, yeah, the yeah, bandits. Those the were bandits, the people he was yeah. talking to. No, but he so heard something from y'all. Do you, are you aware of that mm-hmm. at all? Mm-hmm. Can, you, can you expound upon that if you're able to? Well, yeah, because uh, prior to Aiden's conversation with 300, we had more draft picks, mm-hmm, yeah. and we possibly would have picked him up. Okay. And so, then, so I guess, it, and you don't have to explain this if you don't want to, <coughs> um, <clears throat> like what would you? What were you pulling double C for? What did you see in double C that was making him somebody that you were interested in? The, well, a couple things. Mm-hmm. Strategy and yeah. fighting Okay, games. that's number one. Okay, makes sense. So strategy was my reason for wanting him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's also like a freaking analyst, like a gaming analyst. Correct. Right? It, Which yes. is really that, that, that was, And he's that's so the other hard. side of it, the, the not gaming part. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So from my perspective is I think that like he really wants to play. Right. And again, I'm not here to hold anybody back. I really wanted to tap into that analyst side and like and honestly, the league itself is actually tapping into that. Mm -hmm. I mean, with you as well, because you you are a beast. By the way, like I mean, with the way the way you keep track of score, oh, yeah. the way you, do, you know, I, develop your spreadsheets. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, so you all work together? Yeah. Hell yeah. So that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah, I started it off. I had like the format out and everything, trying to like keep it all like together in depth, like KDs and all that. Yeah. And then also like I got to play a tournament too, so yeah. like I couldn't do it all. So that's a like, lot of work. Double C got this. He was like, Yeah. I was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you. I love how you acted him out. Like, yeah. 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 I tried to. <laughs> yeah. I tried to. Yeah. So that's what that's what I saw him it's like i was like yo he'd be a great strategy player i love his personality his memes are freaking hilarious like (laughs) dude super smart right so that's what i was picking up but there wasn't as much interest on being on my team from what i was gathering and that kind of followed through farther um Mm -hmm. into the relationship in the team and he was super committed to the team great guy but 300 still wanted him was still talking about it uh and i felt like that's where he really wanted to be and I knew that also, as far as like, you guys know my involvement in the league and stuff, I felt like for the league, 300 could do what, or could uh, utilize and create a relationship with 300, I mean, with Double C, that could better benefit the league and Double C and a team. Yep. yep. So that's, so it was pretty, that's what the thoughts were. Should I have gotten more for yes. two people? The answer is yes. <laughs> I should have. It's probably Double C. Uh, <laughs> He's listening to I us should have right holy shit. <laughs> That's scary. Um, I should have probably gotten a second. I think I should have gotten a second round gotten a draft second. pick. But three hundred, wh- whether it was his negotiation skills or what, he was ready to hang up on the phone when. I was like, hey, look, man. I, he was trying to give me fifth round. And I'm like, bro, that's like <laughs> that's like straight trash. Is that what you think about these two guys? <laughs> like, And I was like, give me like at least third. And then he was just like, nah, man. He's like, I don't really. I think that it, it was just like it wasn't a super dramatic move for either of us. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was like it was something that could be done to kind of help me open up some spots for the future because I have some plans for the future, which obviously I won't get into that. Uh, of course you won't. <laughs> and uh, the Stop other side That's okay. Was, we got plans, too. We yeah. won't get into that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I swear, I'm tapping one of y'all's phones. Like, y'all are going to walk out and have it in your car. Like, I'm going to figure something out, dude. Um, so, yeah, that was that was kind of the reason why. I should have probably gotten a better draft pick out of it. Yeah. But depending on how the new draft situation goes, it could benefit me some to have mm. that extra pick. Yeah. But we just don't Definitely. know officially yet. Yeah, so, we don't know. Yeah. Officially, yeah. <laughs> or you did a fourth and a fifth. That's, I, that's yeah. a whole player slot right there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. See, but that's the thing. Is like I, maybe I could have done a little bit more negotiating on that, but at the end of the day, I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. So, But I feel you, and I appreciate yeah. you asking. Yeah, you could have – yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I, I kind of understand now, but I feel like th- at least a third. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. And that's what I wanted too. I that, wanted at least a third. That stuff I really enjoy is like like GM stuff, kind of like in the pros and stuff. It's like trading and all that, yeah. building a team. I really enjoy that. So it's like seeing people get robbed out of picks is like, why yeah, did yeah. you do that? You know, it's I like, appreciate you the fact. Not, hey, listen, you know, I might run it by you next time. Mm-hmm. Like for <laughs> real, like, hey, what do you think of this choice? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, hey, come on. Give man. him Listen. some Listen. good <laughs> advice, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, exactly. Well, nobody trusts karma. All right. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's the name, you know, karma. Just yeah, say exactly. Uh, what is, okay, and this could be anybody. Um, James, you haven't said nothing in a minute. What was mm. your most intense moment through this tournament? And, and if you want to, you can. if there's nothing you got from this one, it can be from any tournament, but I if, I prefer this one if possible. Uh, Street Fighter versus the Ravens. Okay, so the last, <laughs> the last game. Yeah, so, man, I'm so glad I taught Cedric well, though. He ran through, was it three, three people three on his Nobody team? expected And that. Herb's, like, the only other, I besides that. player one, we, we, did. we didn't yeah. fight the bandits. He's the only other one that, like, plays Street Fighter Five. Yeah. So I was expecting, like, He's gonna train his people pretty well. Yeah. But then Cedric, he just comes out and just three in a row. I was like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he just threw up the alley oop. Here you go. Yeah. Take and it then, home, James. Oh my gosh. When it got down to me and Herb, and I don't even remember who was in the lineup, but man, they chipped him down to like half health. Yeah. And I was like, Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that was the saving grace. It's like, yo, I can go into this. I got I this. Can, I can just maul him. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's exactly what you did. It was, yeah. uh, it was uh, Hakeem. It was Phoenix. Hakeem. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Hakeem. So he, Phoenix. Did, he did okay. really well. He did really good. He had a combo on him, and that was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. around. I was like, nice. Yeah. Finally. I definitely will say that was not how we were expecting it to go. Mm-hmm. Most of the outside people that weren't playing, we were all like, wait, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Like, everybody was screaming and stuff because it was just like, we couldn't believe that's how it ended like that it was awesome i mean it was amazing yeah and what about the street fighter game against the booze Ooh, Ooh. man ahead, why man. did they let me finish <laughs> i only ran through was it three of three them? people but one of them was accidental yeah because yeah. they wanted to just put i think was it uh it was scans and silver right yeah yeah scans and silver but i was the last yeah. person and they're good so, yeah silver ran through Basically, the entire team besides me. Yeah. And it got down to me. And once they did scans and silver, they were just like, no. And then they forfeit. <laughs> we, we give up. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, About to put man, the paws on them. They didn't, didn't, didn't give me my highlight. It was, you well, really wanted it, was it too. Disappointing. Listen, that's been done to me. It's not fun when it's done to you, okay? <laughs> Listen, it, when freaking Herb or T, uh, TLG jumped on <laughs> and went through three of my guys mm-hmm. to close it out, I was like, you suck. <laughs> like, and they got a whole clip of it, and they keep on putting it up on the reel. Yeah, you see like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. won't put up James. Well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> snap. We'll have to get that. No, we definitely, we're, there's going to be a lot of clips being created soon, just so you guys know. Like, there's a lot that came Hopefully. from that. Um, I wish I could have played more Street Fighter, though. That was sad. <laughs> How many times you got it? Twice, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted more. There's a 27 games on the wheel, and you got it twice. That's amazing. <laughs> like, wow. Was it against the booze that were at, like it rolled literally the first game? Yes, mm-hmm. it was. It was the very yeah. first. It was at, it was their very last game the night before in their very first game. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. That's what we got. all the nerves really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, talking about nerves. How do you guys feel when you're playing? Like when you is, is it more nerve wracking? Like once you start, but then once you loosen up, you're good. Yeah, 100%. yeah, definitely yeah. that. Definitely that. So once you get your first play yeah. out the way, you gotta get the flow, and then like it just. It's smooth. Yeah. Uh, I'm a lot better this season than I was previous two seasons. Because last season, I'm not going to lie to you, even though in the finals we won pretty handedly, yeah. I still was kind of like really nervous when I was up there. <laughs> but at the same time, it was like, you know, like the pressure is just like really crazy. It, yeah. It, it is actually really crazy. But this time around, I was more experienced. Even though it may have not seem like it, yeah. but because obviously the camera zoom, you guys saw, thought I was like all flustered and everything. But well, you were flustered at one point. The FIFA game, I was flustered. That yeah. that I that was that was something else. But <laughs> yeah. Madden, I was like, I just got serious, but I wasn't really flustered. I knew I would win that one, but it wasn't. 
anything too crazy. I figured out they had Michael. I, I, don't, I have no idea. Like, yeah. we need to get word on that one on why he was there. But I mean, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, you don't but, have um, to, you don't have to be. Uh, it's not like you have to be on a team. You can just register as a coach. When so though? that's when. Whenever. Uh, as long as it's before the game starts. Okay. Now, nah, yeah, unless they announce, unless they announce a time when coaches have to be in, like actually stated. I that that's what I know. Yeah, at this I point. thought that was that. Was I thought it was thing. like players and coaches yeah. were April fifteenth. But that, that's fine. Yeah. I noticed he was there, and yeah. he knew sports games pretty mm-hmm. well. And I was like, I noticed when I was playing when I was playing Madden. I was I looked over. I was like. Like he's telling, uh, uh, why? every input. <laughs> yes, he's yeah. like telling him everything. I was like, okay, he's kind of reading me right now. I'm yeah, like, this guy's <laughs> he's a beast. He's, doing. he's a yeah. freaking beast at sports. Yeah, I was like, he kind of knows what he's doing. I'm like, okay, let but me he get made serious. mistakes as an actual coach for yeah. like the strategic choices, mm-hmm. and that's where I think actually that was like a saving grace for y'all is that because it was his first time, like, and Herb really wasn't stepping on his toes, which was yeah. great. Like, I think that's how like a good way to do it. But there was some probably choices that could have been um, a little bit different yeah. as far as on the Ravens because he was so new. Mm-hmm. But he was also a beast. I mean, for his first oh, time yeah. and, like, for the sports stuff, um, definitely definitely didn't expect him, like, coming out of nowhere to be that good. And, yeah, yeah. I, I saw what he was doing with you, too, and I was yeah. like, yo, this dude is good. Like He, he knew what he was doing, yeah. but it was – if he was on the sticks, it's different. It'd be a whole different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but. I would have had some competition, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's say no to what? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so is there, um, I guess you're not going to share anything about your plans for the draft. Would you? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> okay. okay, I can respect that. Um, <laughs> so, so what, is, what is your game plan for this yeah, exactly. season? So right? I'm going to break it all down for you. Right? Uh, I have a yeah. Spreadsheet. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I guess is there anything <laughs> that you feel like, or I want to ask this before we go into like what your predictions are for next season. So is there something or multiple things outside of like the dinners and things like that um, that you feel like your team does that creates, that separates you from the other teams in the league? The amount of practice we put in together. Okay. It's just immensely better than everyone else's. Yep. Okay. And I can say, state that for a fact that we practice more than everyone. Oh, I mean, I I, I would probably agree. Yeah, but um, it's like it's like we're up here, and then probably like maybe the Ravens are kind of like right here. Yeah. Very humble. Yeah. <laughs> and they practice a lot. They they, they practice, they a, practice lot. a lot. Yeah. Herb does a lot of teaching. Like he teaches yeah. very well too. But He's a hell of a coach. He he really mm-hmm. is. Like he taught me a lot of like Tekken, and then he kind of stopped because. That probably won't happen anymore. (laughs) That's not happening anymore. (laughs) Unfortunately. Nobody's nice anymore. (laughs) (laughs) So, but he is a really good teacher, and that's why they're, like, the second best team at, like, practicing and Mm -hmm. stuff. But we are definitely number one in practicing. Um, And it shows. Yeah. Yes. I, I agree. I agree. That's so something that practicing hours. that's something that I'm working on with my team now. Like, <laughs> well, and oh, and and having them write it down mm-hmm. so that they could see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, peer pressure is a, a wonderful thing. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not in middle school anymore. Yeah, so. I did. I did. You were talking. So I don't know if the camera was on. We were talking about that before, though. You were talking about how you have like practice spreadsheets yep. that show how many hours you're putting into what game per game. Yep. Yes. Yes. tactics. Yep. Well, I mean, it's it's okay. Like <laughs> they can't see our spreadsheet. At the end of the day, <laughs> that 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 in itself though is like you have to do the practice. So yeah. the spreadsheet, at the end of the day, it's, it's just organization. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. to me, like and that's something because there's things that we're doing now. Mm-hmm. Like organization is very helpful because you can be put on the chopping block. Like you said, like your peer pressure is, hey, here's what everybody's doing. Well, here's our weakest link. Like, right. do you want to be on the bottom of that list? You know what I mean? And that kind of creates motivation. Correct. So I think that's a great a great strategy for, you know, promoting practice and things. Even though I think you guys are pretty self-motivated, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, Most of the time. Yeah, exactly. But everybody, you know, everybody lives a life, goes to school, works, then does this too. You know, it's a lot, you know, especially yep. when you have other things going on. Um, and, and, you know, with the, the tournaments, I try, especially because of – life you know i try to give them the absolute most notice possible in even if it's like we had the four days even though we didn't have all four days Mm -hmm. i gave them as soon as the dates were announced i made sure they knew yeah because they all have to take off work yeah um and that's really key Mm -hmm. so that nobody gets surprised and is like well what do you mean it's this weekend yeah that's the same thing i have to do is like i try to give at least 30 days Mm -hmm. because it's like yo and i'll even like send out like a reminder like three weeks before 
two weeks before. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to fake. Like, sometimes people will come back the week before and be like, wait, when is it? I'll be like, <laughs> yo. But, you know, I can't I can't lie. Like, that might have been me when I was younger. <laughs> so, like, hey, it's, I don't need to worry That's about it what, Yeah, so herding cats, now. see? That's right. <laughs> yep. And they know. And they know. I And I will put things in the Discord. And I will wait and make sure. Leave me something to let me know you read it. And mm-hmm. then if I don't get a response... I'll at you like 14 times and I'll yeah, just keep on you know. until the, and they're like, fine. That's yeah. awesome. Nag. Yeah. I may, have, hey, may or may not have forgotten a little bit about today. So <laughs> is that <laughs> oh, why you were late? <laughs> no, no, that's not no, that's no. Not no I, I, I may have pinged them because I fi- figured that they might not. Nah. I heard it was going to be pushed back a little bit for James, but so that's why I kind of took my yeah, time. I got you. But no, 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 I I came home and I was like, oh wait, that's today. Today's Sunday. Oh, so I listen, forgot. you're not at work in the morning, so I was thinking about I just, this all day long. <laughs> I thought t- I thought today was Saturday. I'm so listen, don't worry about it because I was here on Friday, uh-huh. <laughs> thinking that it was podcast day. Oh wow! <laughs> and I came two hours early to like because the whole room was completely different for yeah, the yeah. for the tournament. So I set all it up. And then these microphones, which I pray to God they're doing all right right now. Hopefully. But <laughs> oh, these boy. microphones <laughs> were take, it took us like an hour, right, to set up and like get right and tuned in. And then I was like, it's 420. You guys usually are pretty punctual. And I'm like, <laughs> why are they not here? I was like, glad they didn't show up on time because it took me a little while. And we yeah. got it figured out, like right at 420, favorite time of the day. Um, <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. And I went in our text, yeah. and I, it was like Sunday, and I was like, "Mother!" Like I, was like, I was like, "I've been here this whole time." Like I had like been here for like twenty minutes, like just chilling, like like okay, you know, I'm here, like, and I was like, I would have been playing the game, like right. I've just been hanging out, but it worked out because I needed the time to set up. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, I can't believe I did that. Like, so yeah, hey, but you know what? Better early than yeah, late. Yeah, so I yeah, was like, yeah, okay, yeah. and then I knew it was on Sunday. Definitely. What a pain. <laughs> Oh, just a little early. I could have just stayed, you know, <laughs> and waited for y'all. Uh, all right, so I guess one of the last things I want to talk about is your predictions for next season. How do you guys see next season? You kind of mentioned, like, you think the Ravens will be even better. Um, but what else? What else do you guys see happening next season? All right, I have no clue what the wheel's going to be. That that's true. That's going to be a big th- part of we, it. I think we can talk about this after the new wheel because yeah. that's a huge determination. We don't know what Titus is going to do to – yeah, because possibly screw us up. Jack everything up, I'm us. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was taking suggestions from everybody in the league, and pretty cool. Yeah, but there's well, a lot there's of people's a... games that they want to play. Yeah. yeah, that probably no one's heard of. So yeah, I'm there's an out over that. I think there was at least 50 DMs or oh my something. Gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. So 50 DMs, and that that's not one game per DM. That's, Question. Yes. So, if you know what Titus was talking about when he said for everyone to DM him, did he actually mean one DM with a list of games or just one game? He meant one DM with a list of games. Okay, cool. Yes. I only just said one sure. game. I, <laughs> I only said one game because I wasn't straight. I was like, one. Yeah. I'm doing one. You wanted to put that impact <laughs> yeah. on that one. Like, hey, Power Rangers. <laughs> like, <laughs> that game's awful. Yeah. Scar- Scarlet wants that so bad. Yeah, he does. It's, yeah, he does. Yeah. Why though? I don't know. <laughs> all, right, listen, all I know is my son beats my ass in that game, <laughs> and he's eight repeatedly. Like he figured I out mean, the timing on it, cool. and I'm like, damn, man. Like, and you have to like, I think you have to pay. Uh, maybe you can unlock them all, but I'm pretty sure you have to pay to unlock all the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, probably. Good majority of the characters are DLC in that game. Yeah, and I wonder because it's a three. You know, you get like three. Well, in the verses, you get three players. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they're all separate. I wonder if it will be a team thing or not. But anyway, who knows if that's gonna be on there? I probably. doubt it. Um, Probably. Please you think so? Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't probably. know. I don't know, man. I don't think so. But <laughs> we'll see. Um, I know there was – I always kept on saying there was 23 or 24 games, and there was actually 27 Six. games. Oh, were there 27? With the, with the, um, the, mystery. the, the mystery game. Um, yeah, there was 27 games. Yeah, I knew there were 26. Yeah, there was. There was 24. We, Last season? Or what were you talking about? 24 the season – Two? Yes. Season two 25, mm-hmm. 20, 20 for season three. <laughs> so what, what, 26, so 27. So we're going to have more. So that that's my thing. So uh, so, cause, so basically there's been one right. more each season. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I said I want to see Smash dropped off. <laughs> 
See, you can't but, do that. You can't do that. Holla. But yeah, you can't. You, you can't. can't. That's holla, like though. a huge community. You can't do that. Exactly. No I know. Way. I understand. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> but that's probably just a personal holla. thing. Yeah. Replace it with Brawlhalla. Do Titus, not do please. That. Yeah. Please do that. Please don't. Replace it right do now. Not. It's <laughs> a great idea. I swear. I swear. <laughs> so that you know. Yeah. <laughs> so with the racing games, because those we've had CTR on for a while. Do you think that's going to stay? I mean, maybe. I mean, you don't know. What do you just get rid of? He's just like, we we can't have this discussion. There's so much that could happen this season. Yeah. I mean, we really don't know. There's no, like, there's no way to tell, which which I think is awesome because that puts all the teams in the same position. Before this wheel was made, we were conspiring about all these games. Never in the world did we thought... did we think that Tekken would be taken off? Yeah, especially yeah. with her. We were like, nah, that's no not way. forever. That's and like they had him her. on the stream and everything yeah, when he it said it. <laughs> Hilarious. It was His so face funny. was just like, really? Hey, yeah. yeah, you're an official shareholder of the company. All right, Tekken's off, though. No more Tekken. Yeah, yeah Busta. Yeah. <laughs> That's we're, not, we're not making you completely happy tonight. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I'll <laughs> say, I'll say, like, let's say the wheel is similar, but obviously things are going to change. I think just with general skill, what I'll say is I see you guys, um, I see you guys doing well. Like, obviously, like you always do. So it's kind of hard to judge you outside of like being one of the top performing teams. I think Ravens will probably stay similar to where they're at. Um, but obviously, again, depends on what comes up and what changes. I know, and that's high. Like, obviously, I think honestly, they're a first place team um, in comparison with you guys. That's what I would judge the Ravens as. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm hoping that my team will be um, in. Obviously, I want you. You know, I have to say that I want first place no matter what. But we're gonna be. I think dramatically different than what people have seen. So like we're going to, I think make the biggest growth change yeah. and people are going to be the most surprised by like how much higher skill level we have as a team and as individuals. That's what I can see happening. So hopefully obviously first place, um, but definitely highly competitive for second to first place. Yeah. And then booze. And this is not a diss or anything, but I just don't know where they're going. And, and maybe that's a strategy is like, cause I don't have a clue. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of respect for Billy. And, like, he's super strategic, and he's another really intelligent coach. Um, I think Bandits are also going to be kind of similar to Ghost Squad. You're yeah, going to see, like, a major leap. Yeah, you're going to be see competitive him. in the league. Yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly. So. I'm so interested to see where the, everyone's going to go. Yeah. All right. Like, the competition for this next season, I think, is going to be the highest it's ever going to be. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And so that's what I see happening is uh-huh. uh, the Bandits doing that. Uh, and I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on with Bobby Yaga. I think there's going to be some readjustments to leadership, and potentially, like obviously with the draft and stuff, they'll probably recruit one or two or whatever, however many people. I think that they'll probably be like the Bandits were this year. Um, so getting definitely yeah. better than they were. Mm-hmm. So where they're actually like competitive, mm-hmm. but probably still not going to take out any of what I'll call now because you guys have been in it for a while. The OG teams. Yeah. Um, I think that I can kind of see that being the place. So did I not mention anybody? Um, I think that's all the teams. Yeah, right. I think I mentioned. Everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. that's all. Yeah. 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 Don't feel really bad. If Pending any new team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You said what? I would feel really bad if there was another team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like James, bro. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess. Okay, so outside of that, do you guys have any questions or anything that you want to put out there or say? Um, nah, I don't think so. I, th- I think with your team though, Go ahead. really in a really good spot. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I think if you get Sachi and you can get him actually versatile, yeah, you'll be you'll be really it's good. It's gonna be a problem. And you got you have Tevum. We yep. love Caleb. Oh yeah, we know course. Caleb. Yeah, he's he, great. He came. He started Such with us. Guy. Yeah. He, we love Caleb. Um, you have Tristan as your sports guy. You got um. Monado is really good at some fighting games and whatever games he's really good at. He wins every he time. He wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Your your team is actually in a really good spot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I appreciate, it, man. I definitely I do agree. Like, and I think that like this is where like there's different struggles for different teams, right? Like, I have three players in freaking Richmond. Oh, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, boy. so it's like you know practices and things like that. It's mm-hmm. like you know if those three can practice together, that's cool. But like, let's say all three guys down there are fighters. Yeah. Well, then they're not getting as much shooting experience. You got to get online, you know, who has PCs, who plays on Xbox. Like, these are the struggles that we deal with the most. Um, yep. And I think I think it's a good thing. It's all, like, it's all, you know, comes down to me. Like, it's on my shoulders yeah. to, you know, work that out in my coach. Um, but that's where different decisions like these, and this, I'll just put it out there, is, like, strategically, this is these are things I think about when I'm drafting people. It's like, now, hey, you know, do you plan on moving this year? 
Where are you located? Mm-hmm. How much do you work? Some people got to make a lot of money. They got to work 12 hours a day, four or five days a week. Like that's, in, and I do, I commend that. But what are you going to be able to dedicate to the team in the yeah. league? Right. You know, those are all very important things, just as much as if you're the top player in three games. You know what I mean? Like that's where yeah. you really got to take everything into consideration. Um, so I guess I want to announce a couple things. Uh, this, you guys can comment on it if you want, but I think it's more so just like letting the people know what's going on with the league. There are some major changes coming, okay? The Yay. league's location is leaving Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg area, uh, the South Point shopping area, and we are moving to Stafford. So it's going to be crazy. The new facility <laughs> is uh, a, a major upgrade. It's the stage we have planned. Like, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about some ideas and stuff afterwards. But the stage we have planned is going to be crazy. The equipment we have is going to be top notch. The players are only going to get better. We're going to bring in, obviously, the Stafford community and probably a lot of the more northern communities because it's, you know, 25, 30 minutes closer to the northern community. So we're talking about the DMV area. Um, or I guess DC, DMV is part of us too. Yeah. But um, so we're going to be trying to pull from all these different new areas. So you're going to see a lot of new faces, a lot of new Mm -hmm. talent. The other thing we got going on is, like I said, um, on the 31st of this month, which is what, Tuesday? Tuesday. So yeah, Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. So in two days from today, uh, you're going to have Titus, the commissioner of the Ultimate Endgamers League, and potentially a co-host with him, maybe Pastor Herbs, maybe not, I'm not sure, uh, is going to be on there going over basically all new changes to the league, the new game list. Which, yeah, no, hopefully he comes back soon. Um, But we're going to have all the new games announced. We're going to have the draft situation announced. Any potential other big moves with the league are going to be announced. So you're definitely going to want to tune in to the Tuesday uh, meeting. And do you guys, off the top of my head, I can't remember, I think it's 7 p.m.? Yes. Yes, 7 p.m., awesome. So 7 p.m., tune in for that. That's Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, I think that's really all I have. So I really appreciate you all coming out. It was a good talk. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. Ultimate Endgame is League. Right out. after oh, we won. Go right ahead. after we won, I had to let you know when's the podcast. Yes, you did, dude. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. And between like, oh, you and Jerry, man, y'all be blowing me up. But I love it. Like, I love doing this. And, like, I'm super happy you guys came out, man. Mm-hmm. Like, and I appreciate that, too. Like, it, it puts a fire under my ass to get this thing going and yeah. get you guys out here to have good conversations. Let us know whenever. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I know. Y- y'all want to be on every day. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Ultimate Endgame League. Out. Ah! Still that again? Nah, nah, it's it's empty. We're good.